Hi, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss how to prepare the electrical load sheet for a project. As you see over here, this is the basic stru structure as we discussed in the last video. By the way, if you have not been through the last video, I am putting the link over here on the cart button so that you can go through and uh, uh, learn some things on overview, how MEP works, how the designing process you can learn from there. So before starting this video, we must know what is the electrical load sheet, why it is calculated and what is the need of it. Basically, electrical load is the con power consumption by an equipment. It's called electrical load and the unit of it is like a watt, kilowatt, megawatt, etc. And the electrical load is calculated, total electrical load is calculated to know what is the total demand load, what is the total power required for a project. So let's start the project. <coughs> Basically it's a ready sheet. Yeah, this is a ready sheet uh, with all formulations ready. You don't do you don't have to do anything. You only have to put the data over here and you will get the required the uh, desired output over here. Basically there are two uh, three types of load as you see over here. There is a drop down. One is small power, one is lighting, one is HVC, one is pump or motor. Once you select your small power, you see automatically that format goes to uh, 0.7 as a diversity factor if you select over lighting over here it goes to 0.8 as diversity factor if you select the HVAC over here it goes to 0.9 as diversity factor if you get uh, select is to pump or motor it gets to 1 as a diversity factor so here again there is a drop down before uh, suppose there is a meeting room uh, let's go through in detail Suppose the area name is meeting room and the equipment in use is suppose there is a concealed ceiling light and As we know the lighting is for lighting falls under the lighting load that is not on a small power not HVC It's on a lighting load. So let's select your lighting and the diversity factor automatically goes to 0 0.8 and suppose one light consumes 10 watt and the quantity of lights are 10 so the total connected load is 100 and the open diversity factor demand load goes to 80 suppose in meeting room another power consumption is there suppose there is a computer point how many computers uh, how, what type of load is this it is small power you have to go through the drop down and select the small power and uh, suppose it consumes commonly mostly uh, computers consumes 150 watts so consider 150 over here and suppose they are provision of uh, four computers so that uh, total connected load goes to 600 watt and as we select a small power load type over here uh, the diversity factor automatically goes to 0.7 as you see over here and the demand load is 600 upon 0.7 equal to 420 likewise as you need uh, do fill up the data over here you have to uh, just select the equipment name what type of equipment you go through the drop down and select over here if you find something missing do add here like wall light night lamp geyser what uh, came to my mind I have added over here if you think something left or miss, missed over here you can uh, go through and add it over here you must know how to add on Excel how to add drop down in Excel if you have some query and uh, on how to add or if uh, you are failing to add do let me know in the comment section so that I will made, make a separate video on how to add the drop down or Excel something so let's uh, go to next then you have to select the load type what type of uh, load is that if you select here is uh, suppose geyser right suppose uh, type here is 
toilet right uh, equipment name is geyser and the load type is as we know it's small power suppose that consumes 500 watt and uh, quantity is one so that total connected load for geyser is 500 watt and as we selected small power here the diversity factor automatically goes to 0.7 and the total demand load in watt goes to 350 watt as you fill up all your required data over here automatically at the end the total demand load go changes and finally you get it in kilowatt it's 850 upon 1000 that is 0 0.85 here in this way you can get uh, the total required load and the next is from the total required load we calculate what is the line current what current uh, line current is there so that we can select the cable or wire size what needed for that uh, for the cable or wire size calculation we will go in a separate video otherwise uh, this video will go lengthy and uh, <coughs> one more thing you can use this sheet uh, use this excel sheet for your further use it's totally ready you only have to uh, only you only have to do one only two things one area name like your meeting room meeting room toilet then you have to select your equipment name over here then what load type is this then what consumption quantity here you get all the details total load in watt and total load in kilowatt so i think you must have some clarity on this topic how to <coughs> calculate electrical load if you have some query or any suggestion do let me know in the comment section below so that i'll go through and i can revert to you on that so for that for that signing off right now bye bye see you next